Well, we are holding on grimly to the bullish count here. I must admit that we are pushing our luck slightly. And if we just take a look at more conventional pattern analysis, we can see that basically we've been meandering sideways within this range uh, pretty much since August, September of last year. And at this stage of the trend, that really isn't what we want to see. We need to see impulsive price action. And the longer this range remains in place, the less likely we are that we're going to get our wanted decent leg higher so it is pretty much make or break time now we have seen low prices since our last review but like i said the wave count remains intact so we'll just quickly run through that we have corrective pattern up to wave a then we have what's known as an expanded flat pattern into wave b so a wave b just probes above the recent pivot high by a small margin or the prior pivot high then down to the 52 61.8 percent retracement zone that completes wave B and what we're doing here ideally is seeing a series of wave 1 and 2's this is the first one man degree wave 1 and 2 and even a smaller degree wave 1 and possibly a wave 2 just about in position so as can be seen the typical retracement zone here of that smaller pattern has just about been tagged and it's now make or break time as it stands right here we've seen an ABC so if we are to see a series of 1 2's we need to get on with the job immediately, break high with a degree of attitude, and that means seeing pretty much a straight line rise like this up here. And if that can transpire, then it should take us up toward this minor line of resistance as an absolute minimum. But of course, if we are seeing that more bullish count, we should be going to substantially high levels. This is the 1.618 projection of wave 1, so this movement projected from the low of wave 2, that would be our minimum expectation. But I think the way the patterns are unfolding, and if we are seeing a series of 1-2s, we're going to um, substantially higher levels than that. So at the moment, like I say, the bullish case is in position, but it is now certainly an inflection point. We need to see buyers stepping up pretty much immediately. Now, the other pattern of interest is this little wedge-type pattern now, like the XGO that we reviewed on Friday. It's not ideal at this stage of the trend, but having said that, there will be few traders and investors looking at it and the fact that it is coinciding with the typical retracement zone down here does make it significant and if we can get the traction required to get up through the upper boundary ideally coupled with some increasing volume and a nice high close then it will give us hope that we're going to take on this man line and resistance and ideally break up bigger picture the wave equality projection sits just above 2400 so what we're looking for is a wave a down to the wave B and up to the wave C. That would be our minimum expectation. Now, the other interesting facet of this particular chart is the time cycle. Now, when projecting potential turning points, what we can do is measure prior trends. And in this instance, we've measured this one. That took 87 days. So what we do then is project that time forward. So 87 days from this low point takes us to this pivot high here. And then again, exactly the same, 87 days forward. And that can be seen, not a direct hit, but they have proven to be significant up to this juncture. Not concentrating on the next one quite yet. That's a way off, but we just have to be cognizant to the possibility that we are going to embark on a deep retracement having hit this static time projection. So whichever way you look at it, we do need to see buyers step up pretty much immediately. A breakdown through the 61.8% retracement level here would be reason for concern. It wouldn't invalidate this wave count entirely, but it would certainly put it under some serious pressure. So very important for me that the lower boundary of this target area isn't penetrated.